The original X1 was already a monster of a light, but Wubin just made it even crazier with the new X1 Pro. More power, smarter design, and some seriously impressive upgrades. I'll break down everything that's changed, what makes the Pro worth the upgrade, and we'll fire it up for a full brightness test so you can see what this beast can do. So first off, this has up to 13,000 lumens of output. That's a thousand more lumens than the original X1. It's got three selectable beam modes, spotlight, floodlight, and combo. It also has the same rugged aluminum body and it's slightly taller than the X1. The X1 also has a removable fan for easy cleaning as well. And it's also got an attachment here so you can easily attach it to its bike mount and use this at night. You can also manually turn on the fan without even turning on the light with five simple presses of the button. The X1 is also powered by two 21700 rechargeable batteries that are removable. And the battery release can also be locked so you don't have to worry about accidentally opening the battery cover. And the USB-C port on the X1 Pro can also be used for reverse charging so you can easily charge up other devices on the go. It also has seven modes of operation. We've got Eco, Low, Medium, High, and Turbo, Strobe, and SOS. It also has up to 220 hours on Eco mode and a beam distance of 377 meters. It's got an IP65 water resistance rating, a one meter drop resistance, and it only weighs 383 grams with the batteries. And you can also see the LED differences between the X1 and the X1 Pro. The X1 Pro has one main LED for its spotlight and four for the flood whereas the X1 only had three LEDs. And there's also a LED status light built into the power button as well. Another thing I really love about the X1 Pro is the ergonomics. It feels much better holding it in hand because it's got these little cutouts on the side, whereas the X1 did not. Now there is no dedicated lock button on this X1 Pro, but if you simply press the power button in four times, it will lock the light, so if you have it in your bag, you don't have to worry about accidentally pressing any of the buttons and the light turning on. And then to unlock it, you just simply press the button four times again. And you're all set. So now that we've gone over all the features, let's see what 13,000 lumens looks like in the real world. In this first test, I'm going to show you each mode in each individual brightness side by side, starting with eco mode. Here it is on low mode. Medium. High. Turbo. And this will give you some idea of how bright each level actually is. I'm gonna do all this testing in the combination mode because this is the brightest it's going to get. Right now I'm in eco mode. You can clearly see pretty much everything directly right around in front of you. Not too bad, so we'll put it on low. So you can see it's definitely a lot brighter even on low. You can see a lot more area. This is medium. Just brightens it up a little bit more. You can definitely see a lot, a lot more area. high definitely a lot brighter a 
and then turbo. Definitely lights up a much bigger area. You can see everything around you. The bike mount also seems to work pretty good. It's very easy to install. Just make sure that the nut is fastened nice and tight. And it seems like it keeps your light in place even though your bike is bouncing around. So if you like to bike at night, I would definitely recommend picking up this accessory. So in my opinion, the X1 Pro is definitely a worthy upgrade to the X1. And if you don't already have an X1, this is definitely a good choice for a high lumen light. And the upgrades that I found most useful for the X1 Pro are one, the ergonomics. On the original X1, they had the power button on the top of the light, and it wasn't very easy to hold like this, but with the X1 Pro, you hold it naturally in your hand, it feels much more comfortable, and the power button is right where your thumb is gonna be. Two, now we get the option to just use a single LED instead of using all LEDs like we did on the X1, whereas this prolongs battery life but still lights up a really nice big area. And if you need to expand that light, we still can use all LEDs at the same time. Three is the option for removable batteries. So if you have a fresh pair of batteries ready to go, just simply pop out the old pair, put in the new ones, and your flashlight is ready to go. No more waiting. But you can still just plug in the light to any power adapter and let it charge up normally. And lastly is the option to use the X1 Pro as a power bank. So if you have other devices that need to be charged up on the go, you can very easily use this flashlight to charge up those devices. Now, as of recording, the X1 Pro is up on Kickstarter right now. So if you guys do want to pick this up, I wouldn't wait so you can get in on that early bird price. And I will be putting product links in the video description. I'm also curious to know if you have an X1 or what you think about the X1 Pro. Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know by hitting the like button and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.